identify the defect and the options are back pressure porosity, subsurface porosity, micro porosity and none of the above. Let's take a detailed look at the image over here. We have a casting. So this is a base metal casting. And we are talking about this defect over here. The defect is on the cusp. It's more concave and it looks polished. Now when it says at the cusp, that means it is at the sprue junction because that is where you attach your cusp on the wax pattern uh, you attach your sprue on the wax pattern. Let's run through the casting assembly first so that it's easier for us to understand the defects. So we have the casting ring which can be metal or uh, silicone, a ring liner which may or may not be present if you are using a different type of a ring, the wax pattern, sprue formal and crucible formal and here is where there is all investment material, right? So let's not forget these fundamentals. So this is the casting assembly. This is where the molten metal is going to flow inside. So during this casting procedure, there are certain types of porosities which may happen for various reasons. Now they are broadly classified as Porosity is due to solidification shrinkage. Then due to gas. And lastly by air entrapment. So the examples of each of solidification shrinkage is localized shrinkage porosity. suck back porosity and micro porosity of gas inclusion pinhole gas inclusion and subsurface and air entrapment an example is back pressure porosity Now let's try to understand each type of porosity option wise. So first option is back pressure porosity. Now what happens in back pressure porosity is that if you do not have enough height. So the recommended height is that one fourth of the whole casting assembly should be there. If you have too much, if you have more than one fourth of the whole length of the casting assembly, then the amount of investment material here is too much. Because of the excess amount of investment material, there is very limited escape of gas. So all the gas gets entrapped in this investment material and does not vent out. It does not come out. So here is your casting the mold and the gases need to vent out. But they could not go out because the investment material was too high in that area or too bulky in that area, which creates a pressure back in the mold. Okay, so when the molten metal flows inside, this pressure is going to push the metal back. So wherever there is a screw connection on the casting, you will see a concave kind of a porosity. Okay, now this can be avoided by using good amount of casting force, adequate amount of casting force or by using investment material with adequate porosity. Or you can also uh, place the wax pattern properly at say 6 to 8 mm away from the ring. I'm talking about all dimensions, okay? It should be away adequately from everywhere, but the, it should not be too bulky. The investment material around it should not be too bulky. Or you can provide vent. So you can provide escape holes for release of these gas gases. So based on this, uh, understanding this could be back pressure porosity. This could also be a localized shrinkage porosity, which also happens at this pro wax pattern junction, but that is not in the option. So we will not talk about it right now. The second option is subsurface porosity. Now the exact mechanism of subsurface porosity is not really understood, but it occurs because of solid grain formation. 
so now we have molten metal flowing in of which some part are getting solidified so there are these grains which are formed within the molten uh, uh, a molten metal and there is simultaneous gas entrapment in this stage so because of this there is a change in the freezing and solidification procedure along with gas entrapment and this may lead to a very roughened kind of a surface that is known as subsurface porosity and it should be not one localized kind of a spot it is rather more generalized kind of a porosity so this cannot be subsurface porosity the third option is micro porosity now micro porosity are fine irregular voids within the casting okay it is seen when the casting is too rapidly uh, cooled down so a rapid solidification will occur and that is going to cause this temperature change and uh, cause the molten metal to set in a unfavorable way now here again this is more of a generalized and internal kind of a porosity not an external visible kind of porosity like we have seen in the defect so the correct answer to this is option number 1 back pressure porosity